the path that I that I developed with it, first I was with Lionel Lueke uh, at Berkeley, who showed me a lot of these polyrhythms. And what we were doing is he had me comp a standard, would open the real book. I would comp on a standard with like playing bass or something, and he would play polyrhythms over it. And I would try to maintain that to make sure that I, I don't get lost while he is doing the polyrhythms. Uh, which is already like a challenge at first. And then the next thing was like to develop my own polyrhythms. And so there is a foundation for that. Now in the swing is the superimposition of 6-8 over 4-4. Four, four. In the waltz is the superimposition of 4-4 four, four over 3-4. Four. So, uh, but let's concentrate on the swing. Basically, it works for any meters, you know, for like the five or the seven or something. It's just a question of um, putting one thing on top of each other. Actually, it's quite simple. It's a simple thing over another simple thing. But they work in such a different way that it seems like way out of place. There's nothing weird about the, the, the polyrhythms. The first step for the polyrhythm in swing, so it's that 6-8 over 4-4. Four, four. So, in order to superimpose 6 8 over 4 4, we have dotted quarter notes following each other. And every three bars of the 4 4, it starts again. So, it takes three bars of the 4 4 to finish a cycle. Um, that's why the first uh, chord progression to work on is the blues, because the blues is 12 bars, so it divides in three very easily. Um, so that's going to be the main focus here. Uh, so you know that when you end the blues and you go back on one, you're aligned with the one. So that's when you know you have the, the mark that you did good. That's when it's important to have that cycle. So we're going to start with the dotted quarter notes on a G minor, for example. Um, let's try that. Just G minor. Three bars. So you see, we're going to do three bars, and at the end of the three bars, you play the one, and they we're all going to, we're both going to fall on the one. So the the swing is like that, and the dotted quarter is like ta, pam, 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 pam. One, two, three, four. So that's three bars in four, four. And you see, after three bars, we came back together. At six bars in the blues, we did G minor for four bars and C minor for two bars. So when we come back to the G, if we come back to the other, that means that we have dealt very well with six bars already. One, two, three, four. So here we fall back, we fall back together. Now notice that it's very simple. It's just like ta, pam, 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 pam. Just the chord, same chord, G minor. I don't move. I don't do anything. Now there is the um, the matter of the transition to the next chord. Let's try again. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And now I'm going to play it right after. One, two, three.